Hello everyone, this is Storm 64 and today I'm going to be giving you my top 10 most hated anime characters of all time. Basically, I'm about to tell you the characters that pissed me off the most over the years. Most of them are probably from the same anime, well, some of them. But that's only because although I've watched a lot of anime, only some of them managed to get me really pissed off at some of the characters. So basically, without further ado, number 10 on my most hated anime characters of all time, we have fucking Flora from Asterix War. Now you see the thing about Flora is that she wasn't necessarily a bad character. Her biggest issue was the fact that, well, I don't know, she just had a very annoying voice. Like, like seriously, this bitch's voice was so freaking high pitched. She freaking breathes in helium. There's no way she doesn't respirate helium. She can't breathe oxygen like the rest of us and still have that voice that's so freaking high. Like, like damn. Like, listen to her voice. That's one of the most annoying shits I've ever heard. Shut the F up. I'm losing my mind. I can't listen to that garbage anymore. But anyways, on a different topic. Number 9. We have Subaru from ReZero. You see, the reason why he's on this list is because... Despite the fact he had the ability to come back every time he died, he still whined like a bitch about how he was dying in brutal ways every single time, even though he would come back all the time. That made no sense to me and the fact that he whined all the time despite having a reset button to basically undo all the effed up shit that happened to him makes no sense whatsoever. And it was that fact that the series had no effing tension yet he would act like the world was ending whenever Amelia that dumb bitch died. And by the way, yes, I also hate him because he picked Amelia over Rem, which was the dumbest shit he ever did in his life. Number 8 is Slain from Out Noah Zero. Now the thing about Slain is that, well, I can't really explain why I hate him so much without going into the plot of the story, so I'm basically going to keep this short. Basically, he was supposed to protect the princess, a dumb bitch, and basically, instead of, you know, going by her side and protecting her, he teamed up with the idiots who were trying to kill her. And then he wanted to look stupid and dumb, and she got popped and shot like Uncle Ben did in Spider-Man 1. And then he had the audacity to get mad at the people who were trying to protect her the whole time, and then he should decide to betray the people he was working with the whole time, when the damage was already effing done. Good work, bitch. You're freaking retarded and so is your dumbass Princess Peach clone. Number 7. Alon from Pokemon X and Y. Basically, I was gonna put Ash on this list, but if you were here on the channel since the very beginning, you've known I've already shat on Ash a million times. So this time, I wanted to give this to the man who robbed him of what should have been his greatest moment. You see, in the final round of the Kalos League, it was Ash versus Alon. Now you see, Alon beat Ash, but that's not necessarily the reason why he's on this list. Alon's on this list because he's a bitch. His mega evolution was amped up by Team Flare. It, it gave Charizard an extra power boost which means his Mega Evolution was stronger than usual. Immediately after the battle with Ash, he refused and declined Ash's offer to have a rematch because he knew if he fought him again, he'd lose and get exposed as the fraud he was from day one. What a freaking bitch. You ruined what was supposed to be Ash's big win after all these freaking years, but now he's in freaking Pokemon school doing retarded crap. Number six. Oh, this is where the good shit begins. At number 6 we have King Xenohells from Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Bakugan was one of my favorite series of all time because, you know, it just has so many childhood memories. 
But the problem with it comes from one thing. Well, the problem with one of the characters, of course. King freaking Xenohelt was one of the most stupidest annoying villains of all time. Not because he was just a one-dimensional retard, or because he was a freaking Pyrus Brawler villain, which was basically done to death at that point. But the thing is, he was a freaking worthless piece of garbage. And you want to know why? Because whenever this motherfucker would freaking lose in one of these freaking duels, he would freaking cry out for his freaking assail formation in his old crusty ass voice. You bring shame to this family's name! Barbaros! Assail formation! And basically, assail formation was a battle gear which boosted his Bakugan's power level by like 3000 Gs, which basically made him stronger than every other Bakugan in the game. So basically, he had to call a life support module every time he was about to freaking lose. That's right, this bitch didn't freaking win one fucking battle in the entire freaking series without calling in a sail formation. He freaking sucks. If he didn't have a sail formation, he would have lost in his very first battle on the freaking show. And number five on the list is ironically his bitch ass son. Number five, Prince Hydron. Well, he spent the first part of season two of Bakugan sitting on his ass, twirling his hair, and being a freaking fruity fruit fop. Freaking talking about, oh, I can't wait to have more Bakugan in my collection. Oh, shut up, you little retard. Why don't you get up in your ass and get it in themselves? He was too weak to freaking beat Drago on his own, so he sent his freaking, his freaking drones to do it for him. But the thing is, in the second part of season two, he he got off his ass, and well, he he actually did stuff. And you know this was perfectly fine, and I was actually starting to like his character until he did something stupid. You see, the evil group he was part of, the Vexos, which are basically a couple of freaking anime cosplayers. Basically, some of them were starting to turn good, and I was starting to like them. But then he freaking went to stop them before they betrayed the team and he basically killed them. He killed them and the thing is one of them, the freaking Chaos Brawler Vault, he freaking, he freaking lost to him and instead of taking the L like a man, he freaking threw a death ball at him and basically sucked him into the freaking Shadow Realm aka he freaking killed him. Ah! Huh. Leave now, I never want to see your face again. I sentence you to an eternity vault in the far reaches of the dimension. Worthless scum! I did it! I won! I beat him! He freaking whined like a bitch and freaking killed two of my favorite characters in that show and for that he deserves to be on this list like the little bitch he is. Number 4. Yuya Sakaki from Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. Yuya Sakagi is one of my most hated characters of all time. Out of all six Yu-Gi-Oh protagonists, he is the one I hate the most. And that's because he's a freaking annoying bitch. You guys know why he's an annoying bitch? Well you see his whole gig is that he thinks Duel Monsters, a game that was you that was once a dark game where the loser freaking lost everything, including their soul and their life. He turned it into a freaking kitty, freaking clown, freaking Six Flags show where he would play his freaking goofy looking monsters. And the fact that basically yu gi for Arc 5 had the worst ending of all time, with all the freaking main characters dying except him, was by far the dumbest garbage of all time and that's why Arc 5 is garbage and the fact that this man always talking about how dueling is meant for smiles but I'm not smiling you stupid bitch no one was smiling at the end of Arc 5 your counterparts were all freaking dead but good make everything a happy show of freaking smiles and lights and you know your freaking clown antics your freaking garbage Number three on this list is another Yu-Gi-Oh character, 
and one that's far more annoying than you y'all could ever be. Brave freaking Max. And by the way, that's his, you know, name when, when he's in the virtual reality of Reigns, which is a game inside the game. But I don't know how to pronounce this guy's actual name. I haven't even cared about it. I don't even remember his name. I even want to look it up for this video. So I'm just going to call him by his username, also known as Brave Max. This guy, his voice is not only the most annoying shit, he just looks stupid and he acts dumb. He's in the main character's face 24-7 and I wish that freaking Yami Bakura came back from the original Yu-Gi-Oh to send this freaking fool to the Shadow Realm where he belongs. Like seriously, do people think he's actually a good and funny character? He's supposed to become comedic relief, but he's freaking garbage and he's annoying and I want to choke the life out of him whenever he pops up on the screen. And I'm so glad he has a freaking big ass loss record and I hope he keeps taking L's for the rest of the series. I hope he gets no character development, no screen time, no nothing. He better fade like freaking Weevil Underwood and Rex Raptor from the original Yu-Gi-Oh. Number two. Oh boy. Now you see if you've been on the channel recently and you've seen my reviews especially, you should know who's on this list. If you don't, if you didn't expect this character to be on this list, you haven't been paying attention. Number two. Jiren the Grey. The most boring piece of shit character I have ever seen. Jiren is one of the most boring characters in Dragon Ball history. He's worse than pre-retcon Brawly. He spent most of the freaking series sitting there and saying nothing and doing nothing except beating people in one hit and giving one-liners like, oh, it's over, or you're finished, or some freaking cheesy generic crap to make himself look cool when in reality he was the most flat, boring, piece of shit character I've ever seen in my life, ever. And I hate him. I hope he never comes back in Super or any other medium. Or if he does, it better be in other worlds because he got killed by freaking a Cyberman or something. But anyways, we're gonna go on to the number one person on this list. Number one, Deku from My Hero Academia. I hate Deku. He is the antithesis to everything I stand for and believe in. He is an over optimistic little fuck who freaking runs after All Might and wants to suck his dick. Basically, I freaking hate Deku. Deku's a freaking annoying piece of shit. I've never seen a character that's such a bitch. Like, seriously, he's, he cries for everything and he sucks up to his bullies. Like, I swear, Deku could walk in on Bakugo, freaking Howitzer impacting, freaking Yuraka. He could freaking walk in on that action happening and he'd be like, oh my god, oh my god, Kachan, oh my god, Kachan, you're so cool. I wish I could, I wish I had a freaking, I wish I had your long sword skills. Oh my god, Kachan, you're so cool, even though you pushed me in that locker for the 10 million time. Oh my god, oh my toku! I wanna be like I wanna be like you! I wanna be like you! I wanna be exactly like you! To the fact where I'm gonna learn how to use my legs instead of my hands because that's common sense when you're fighting, but I just now realized that because I'm so smart. Herder. Like this bitch is so freaking annoying. He said he wanted to be a freaking hero his whole life. Yet he sat on his ass and took notes but never put them to practice. He never did anything. If All Might never ran into him that day, he would have never become a freaking hero. Like seriously, he didn't even need powers to try to become a hero. He could have joined the support course. He, the, the show claims he's so freaking smart, yet he never put that to work before he got powers. He could have become like Batman or freaking, freaking somebody. He could have freaking been like many of the other anime characters who freaking do what they do without powers. He freaking Stain had basically no powers other than the fact he could paralyze people once he freaking t taste their blood. 
But the thing about that is, other than, other than the fact that he can paralyze people by tasting their blood, he was basically human. He wielded an effing sword, and he basically killed how many heroes? He managed to hold his own against three heroes in training, one of them being All Might's freaking protege. Like seriously. He was mostly human and he was able to do all that garbage. His quirk was only good if he caught somebody, but I'm pretty sure he's able he was able to hold his own without his quirk even. So what the hell? If Deku freaking learned to fight by the time he got one for all, he would have been so freaking strong. If he had trained his body before he met All Might, he would have been able to master that shit in two seconds. He would have been a beast. But instead he whined and cried and he got his wish like a little bitch he is. Fuck you Deku. Fuck you and fuck every single person in class UA. I mean class 1A. In UA. Yeah, this is Shadowstone64 and I will see you next video. Or not.